This week's report is coming to you from Jay Peak, Vermont, where a major backlash snow event is busy restoring packed powder. There's a ton new at Jay Peak this year. The Tram House Lodge, a hundred new snow guns to help Jay hit their typical late April close, an NHL-sized skating rink, and a full Nordic Center. Jay has always had the snow, but now there's much, much more. Snowmakers will continue to make gains as we move into the weekend and the trail counts will be on the rise at Ski Sundown and Mount Southington in Connecticut and surfaces will be softening as well. Catamount and Butternut have bounced back very nicely this week. The snowmakers and groomers have been hustling round the clock. Jiminy Peak is back in good shape and they have a demo day set for Sunday. Gunstock in New Hampshire's trail count is climbing once again. The mountain crews have done a tremendous job of rehabbing the surfaces this week at Wyndham and at Gore in New York. Mount Snow and Okemo in Vermont have very powerful snowmaking systems and they've been maxed out since Tuesday. A moist upslope flow has kept the flakes flying much of the time at Killington Stowe and here at Jay Peak. Out west, Sun Valley and Jackson Hole have both had a snowy week and some late week snow will help at Telluride. Brighton and Snowbird have had more than a foot and a half this week in packed powder rules. It's also been a snowy week at Alta and Park City and their conditions are outstanding right now with plenty of packed powder. The east could use a sizable snowstorm and there's some potential for that late this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman.